Arma, Wikipedia article audio. Cool ordinates. 54 degrees 2053 and 6 degrees 3922 W54 348 and 6 656 54 348 minus 6 656. Armagh County Armagh was a parliamentary constituency in the House of Commons. It was replaced in boundary changes in 1983. The Act of Union 1800 provided for the Parliament of Ireland to be merged with the Parliament of Great Britain, to form the Parliament of the United Kingdom. The 300 seats in the Irish House of Commons were reduced to 100 Irish members in the United Kingdom House of Commons. The 30 to Irish counties retained two seats in Parliament. The Union took effect on January 1, 1801. There was no new election for the members of the first Parliament of the United Kingdom as the House of Commons was composed of members elected to the previous parliaments of Ireland and Great Britain. The constituencies consisted of the whole of County Armagh, excluding the part in the parliamentary borough constituency of Armagh City. Catholics were excluded from taking Irish seats in Parliament from 1691 until 1829. See Catholic Emancipation for further details. Catholics, who were otherwise qualified to vote, had to take various oaths before doing so, under Acts of 1691 and 1703. An Act of 1727 prohibited Papists from voting at all. They were not again permitted to qualify to vote until 1793. Before 1885 there was a restrictive property-based franchise. In 1829 the traditional county 40 shilling freehold land owning qualification was changed to a 10 pound qualification. It was not until the householder franchise was introduced for county elections, in the electoral reforms which took effect in 1885, that most adult males became voters. In these circumstances most members of parliament came from a limited number of Protestant aristocratic and gentry families. There were few contested elections. In the first half century or so after the Union this constituency was fairly evenly balanced between Whig Liberal and Tory Conservative parties. Thereafter the area became more conservative. The constituency was represented by two MPs from 1801 until 1885, and by one MP from 1922 until 1983. In 1885, it was split into Mid Armagh, North Armagh and South Armagh. A new seat was created in 1922 when as part of the establishment of the devolved Stormont Parliament for Northern Ireland, the number of MPs in the Westminster Parliament was drastically cut. The seat consisted of the entirety of County Armagh. In 1983 most of it became part of the Nuri and Armagh constituency, with part going to Upper Ban. From its inception Armagh had a unionist majority, though by the 1970s the nationalist vote was in the mid-30s percent. In 1951, it was one of the last four seats to be uncontested in a UK general election, and in 1954 it saw the last uncontested by election in the UK. In 1974 the Ulster Unionist Party repudiated the Sunningdale Agreement and so did not reselect the pro-Sunningdale MP, John McGuinness. Instead they ran Harold McCusker, who held the seat until 1983. He was then elected for Upper Ban, which contained part of Armagh. For the history of the area post-1983, please see Nuri and Armagh in Upper Ban. In two member elections the block voting system was used. Voters could cast a vote for one or two candidates, as they chose. The two candidates with the largest number of votes were elected. In by elections, to fill a single seat, the first past the post system applied. There was no election in 1801. The representatives of the county in the former Parliament of Ireland became members of the first Parliament of the United Kingdom. After 1832, when registration of voters was introduced, a turnout figure is given for contested elections. In two member elections, when the exact number of participating voters is unknown, this is calculated by dividing the number of votes by two. To the extent that voters did not choose both their votes this will be an underestimate of turnout. If the electorate figure is unknown the last known electorate figure is used to provide an estimate of turnout. Where a party had more than one candidate in one or both of a pair of successive elections change is calculated for each individual candidate, otherwise change is based on the party vote.